Viewer discretion is advised. This documentary contains sensitive content, some of which may be reenactments, indiscriminate attraction of humans to morbidity, as is the case in the spread of Nikki Katsura's death photo on the internet, is not new. It was only brought to our remembrance on October 31, 2006, when the victim's family suffered distress from seeing the death photos of their beloved published on the internet. Nikki Katsura's death photos were leaked by the patrol officers who responded to the accident in Lake Forest, California. This caused immense emotional and psychological distress to her family. The Katsuras had lunch at their home in Ladera Ranch, California, on October 31, 2006. After lunch, the father, Christos Katsuras, left home for work while the mother remains at home. The mother, after some minutes, notes that she hears a door close and footsteps through the back door. She investigates and sees her husband's Porsche 911 Carrera reversing out of the garage. Her daughter, Nicole Nikki, was at the wheel. She calls her husband to inform him since Nikki wasn't allowed to drive that car. Christos begins to search for his daughter and calls the emergency number to help him locate the car. He was put on hold for some minutes and was later informed of the accident. Nikki Katsouris Accident Nikki was traveling at about 100 miles per hour on the 241 toll road in Lake Forest. At about 1.38 p.m., she bumped a Honda Civic as she tried to pass by its right side. The Porsche changed its traveling course due to the impact and crossed the road's broad median. Due to a lack of a barrier on that part of the road, it crashed into a concrete toll booth near the Alton Parkway interchange. Nikki died on the spot and the car was destroyed. Toxicological tests exposed that there was no alcohol in Nikki's blood, however, there were traces of cocaine in her body. On October 31 Street, 2006, 18-year-old Nikki Katsouris died in a tragic car accident on the toll road in Lake Forest, California. The accident was so gruesome that the coroner denied Nikki's parents the identification of her body as per regulations of the CHEP. Responding officers were required to take photographs of the accident scene, including Nikki's remains. CHEP employees Aaron Reich and Thomas O'Donnell took the photos and sent them to their personal email addresses and shared them with others. The Katsura sued the California Highway Patrol and the two supervisors responsible for the photo leak in the Orange County Supreme Court of California on the ruling of a judge. The family was encouraged to press on with the charges. CF issued formal apology to the family, and O'Donnell was suspended while Reich quit his job. However, the case was dismissed by a judge on the grounds that the two officers have no obligation to protect the privacy of the Katsouris, though their actions were reprehensible. The CF sent cease and desist notices to websites to curb the spread of the pictures, but they had little effect. In 2010, the California Court of Appeal reversed Judge Perk's ruling and in 2012, the CHEP reached a settlement with the Katsouris family, paying them over $2 million in damages and admitting that no amount of money can compensate for the pain the family has had to endure. Let this be a reminder to always respect the privacy of victims and their families in the aftermath of a tragic accident. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and also turn on the, the notification bell to get notified anytime we upload a new video. You can also get more information about this incident by clicking the link in the description.